Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Crawford Jones. Traffic picked up in space this week as two new vehicles arrived at the ISS. SpaceX's Dragon resupply ship launched early Sunday morning from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and arrived at the station on Tuesday. Flight engineers Reed Wiseman and Alexander Gersh were at the controls of the robotics workstation and used the ISS robotic arm to capture the Dragon. While the crew took a break, ground controllers remotely positioned the cargo craft at its docking port on the Harmony module, and then the crew secured it in place. Hatches were opened and the crew began unloading the nearly two and a half tons of supplies, hardware, gear, and experiments. And the second vehicle to arrive at the ISS this week brought with it three new station residents to complete the Expedition 41 crew. NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore and cosmonauts Alexander Samokudiaev and Yelena Sarova climbed aboard their Soyuz TMA-14M spacecraft in Baikonur, Kazakhstan on Thursday. The rocket lifted off at 425 Eastern Time, and just six hours and four orbits around the Earth later, the Soyuz arrived at the station for docking to the Poise module. Hatches between the two spacecraft were open, and Station Commander Max Sarayev and Flight Engineers Reed Wiseman and Alexander Gers welcomed their new crewmates aboard. Wilmore Samokudiaev and Sarova will live and work aboard the station until March of next year. With all the orbital traffic this week, we have a very fitting Twitter question from Adrian who wants to know how a capsule can catch up to the ISS when it's moving at 7.7 .7 kilometers per second. Well, Adrian, think of it like two cars on a racetrack. A car in the inner lane driving at the same speed as a car in the outer lane will complete a lap quicker because it has a shorter distance to travel. So, when an orbital vehicle is traveling closer to the Earth's surface in a lower orbit, it's able to catch up with the space station. As it gets closer to the ISS, it can adjust its altitude through a series of burns until it eventually rendezvous with the station. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.